fam. Welcome to Mary's Kitchen. Today we are on set at Massage Restaurant on 1038 St. James. But before we go on, I want to announce the winner of the Share Our Video Contest to win a $50 gift card to a Wasabi restaurant and a bottle of sake. And the winner is dun, 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 Caroline Zalondag. Yay! Congratulations, Caroline. And guess what, Fit Fam? We'll be doing another $50, $50 gift card giveaway to a Massage Restaurant. All you need to do is like, comment yummy, and share this video to get entered. Next week on Mary's Kitchen, we will announce the winner and good luck to you. Okay, on with the show. Lasage is a fast, casual restaurant focusing on Middle Eastern and Mediterranean cuisine. Whether you're looking for a shawarma wrap or meat platters, they have it all. They serve saj wraps, appetizers, salads, halal meats, as well as a selection of vegetarian and vegan friendly options. Let's go inside and meet the owners. Hey guys! Hi. Hey Rochelle! Hey Adam! Hello! Thanks for having us in your restaurant. Welcome Thank to Massage guys! Welcome! Very Welcome. exciting! You know what? I've never really had Middle Eastern food so I'm not really sure what, what's very popular and what's a, a very good menu item. So. Sure! Welcome! Sure! So uh, Massage here, uh, we're one of the Middle Eastern restaurants in Winnipeg. We are specialized in uh, making uh, very good wraps, shawarmas, we have falafels, doners, we have kebabs, we have lots of appetizers like hummus and falafels, people's favorite right now. Okay. It's really uh, a very nice flavor into these items and people, you know, if you're seeking something different than usual, then there'll be the Middle Eastern wrap, especially here at Lasage. Um, we provide uh, like lots of uh, meals, we provide appetizers, we have great dessert as well. That's all homemade and, and prepared. And that's baklava to get fresh. too, right? This is we have baklava yes, different kind yummy. made freshly every day. Okay. Absolutely, we have the basbusa also. Lots of vegan options and vegetarian as well. Uh, for those who does keto here, we also have lots of uh, designated items to do your keto diet as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, for sure. So what makes us special here is the bread, and that's what the whole story about lisage, right? The sage okay. is the uh, the dome that we can uh, see right there. Let's go take a look. Come on in. Okay. So this is the dome-shaped oven that we uh, we bake our daily uh, bread pretty much every hour, every half an hour that uh, they make it here nice and fresh. It's very, very thin, thinner than the peak pressure, obviously. It's really great when you make it as a wrap. Um, so uh, like you see, it goes there for a few seconds, you flip it up, and then it's ready to rock and roll. So this is your flat bread then? Correct. That's what Flatted. we call the sage bread. Okay. You want to go around with that? Sure, yeah. Wow. So this is how you guys make it. And how exactly. long does it take to cook? So only really take a few seconds uh, if the uh, if it's really nice and hot. Mm -hmm. uh, so dough, you go making the dough, it goes really all day. Okay. So every fresh batch, every half an hour kind of thing. And then, um, and then yeah, it's ready to make it as a wrap or inside the top of the platter. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Yeah. So we move here. How much soup? So what do we have over here? Okay, so um, something really highly recommended before every meal is soup, right? In this place, we specifically um, specialize in lentil soup. Oh, lentil soup. I don't have soup. to talk about how lentil is really good for you and healthy, especially lots toward of the fiber. fall. <laughs> Absolutely, lots of fiber, and then especially now toward fall and um, and and then winter, it's really a great choice. It's okay. really warm you up quite nicely. And it opens up your stomach too to eat more food, right? 100%. It has lots of values in there. Okay. It has lots of vegetables. It has turmeric, cumin, which is really good for the stomach and soothe it really nicely. So this is how we serve it with a little bit of our own uh, crackers. Okay. Um, we also have a falafel. And what is a falafel to our viewers that are not right, aware of that? So falafel, for those who don't know, it's basically um, um, chickpeas patties okay. that uh, prepared freshly as well. Here you add lots of herbs into it, lots of spices, and then it's really great as um, um, as an appetizer or inside the wrap. It's really it fills you up quite nicely. And you can have it in a salad too. Hundred percent. If okay. you don't want to eat any bread today, yes. make sure you do the falafel salad, which is lots of uh, you know vegetables in there. There are lots of uh, pickles comes in there. Like you see what Mohammed is doing right now here. So what's over here? He's making the falafel plate. Basically, it's a five-piece falafel and served with the uh, little bit of uh, pickles. 
uh, turnips, and then of course the uh, tahini sauce. Tahini sauce. And, and what is tahini sauce? Tahini sauce is made of uh, <clears throat> of the uh, sesame butter or the sesame uh, paste uh, uh, butter uh, mixed with garlic, and then uh, as well as uh, you know some sour. It's really good. Um, so you can basically you know just munch on it like that. And, and to our viewers, what are what are what's this? So we have the regular dill pickles or our cucumber pickles. Sometimes we eat the wild pickles or the wild cucumber pickles. Okay. It's really different. It's fantastic bite. We also have the turnip pickles, oh. which is also something unique, especially with falafel. It gives you that nice uh, color and nice bite into it. Okay, it looks yummy. Yeah, thanks. And what um, do you have back there? So right there is our wrap. <coughs> So we have the chicken and the donair wraps that made toasted up. Um, so what Mohammed is making right now is also uh, another new item that we just added, which is called sujuk. Uh, the Damascus sujuk, which is uh, in Syria, it's different than the other country where it's, uh, it's like a sausage style. So right here, we make it of uh, fresh ground beef. We add very special spices into it. And, um, and we wrap it up with some tomatoes, pickles, and then garlic sauce and mayo. So, uh, soon we'll see downtown. And to our viewers behind, what is what are those things there? Because I've never seen that before. Yeah, so this is the what shawarma is. It started all from Turkey. Okay. So anything really rotate while cooking, oh, they wow. call it shawarma. Okay. Sort. Right, so we do have the chicken right there, lots of chicken in there. Yes. We do have the donair, which is we're about to put a new one. Uh, so uh, our donair come from Halifax, which is I think the most Canadian city uh, that does eat or sell the donair. Okay. Uh, they really love it out there. We do have special sweet sauce available as well. Uh, so donair is pretty much any rotating meat. Uh, I would say shawarma is that. Oh, shawarma. Yeah, so shawarma is anything rotate. At some country they use different kind of meat like lamb. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, chicken in our case and beef here. Okay. Um, so it's rotate and cook throughout slowly. Right. We only though shave the, you know, the out, the outside where it's actually nice and cooked. Um, it, even though it's cooking throughout, but then we want to make sure it gets to the certain temperature it's right. ready to be uh, consumed, right? And you can just see the juices. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, it, wow. it has to be that nice and juicy. Yeah. Um, and because we put lots of citric and spices yes. and and. Uh, and there is that will make it really cook nice. Um, yeah, so uh, what is what is those guys about to do now is one of our famous wraps, which is the Arabic chicken shawarma or the traditional style shawarma. It's something we really take uh, take a pride here in uh, in Lasaj. Um, because it's it's as authentic as it gets here. Uh, no, not much vegetables goes in that wrap. It's only uh, chicken, garlic sauce, pickles, and actually a couple of pieces of French fries. Okay. Lots of people say, "How do you put French fries in there? And why?" It's not. It's not traditional to put the French fries in there. It is. It so is. if you okay. go, let's say I would say in Syria, that's where we all from here. So in Syria, basically in every corner, there's a small shawarma spot. And then basically what they do is exactly the same. They put the, the delicious garlic sauce, they put a few fries and a little bit of pickles. Mm -hmm. So these fries give you a nice crunch as well. Yeah. So you feel the crunch and it, it gives you the nice filling. It completes the chicken quite nicely. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, so this we'll... looks so yummy, Adam. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, for sure. We look forward to it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's the first item right here. Okay. Okay, so we cut it in a, into a bite size or smaller pieces. It's easy to grab and eat. You can use your fingers or you can use a fork to eat it however you like. Um, and we serve it with a small side of French fries. Okay. Um, lots of people say we don't need fries. We come here to try something different. Fries is very local thing, right? But fries are always so yummy. It's always right? good, like, no matter where. Love now. French fries. That's right. That's right. Yeah, for sure. And is it always cut? Is that how it's supposed to be done? Yes, hundred percent. When you say Arabic style or traditional style, it has to be cut in a small uh, bite size. In small bite size. Uh, okay. Otherwise, we call it a full chicken shawarma or the wrap or lafa at some uh, cultures as well. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. So uh, Muhammad there is finishing the sujuk wrap, which is also one of the uh, new items, like I said. And what's inside that wrap? Uh, so inside that, what we do is we do a garlic sauce. 
we do uh, the ground beef, which just has a very unique flavor into it. Like I said, it's something you, you'd never tried before. It's very rich. It's like eight different spices mixed together mm -hmm. to make this. And no, it's not spicy unless you want hot sauce in there. Uh, so only tomatoes and pickles are recommended to be there. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, a touch of mayonnaise uh, just to complete the whole bite. So why we serve it with two bread in this case? Because the first bread actually were uh, was put in the, in the in the meat to soak the flavor. I so see. So it become a little bit soggy, but that's the goal here. Okay. So there we go. We have a second bread which to support the wrap. We wrap it again like everything else, and then we toast it a little bit just to give it a nice color and nice nice uh, crunch too. Crunch as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> And then, uh, yeah, there you have it. It's uh, it's something different, like and it's healthier than lots of uh, you know food. Um, you know what, Adam? I'm impressed with your staff. They are working so fast. Thank you. Yeah. They are hard workers. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Uh, we are a very busy uh, based place. Let's say it's a, it's a fast it's a fast food right uh, style. It's not yes. kind of the more like a fine dine, take your time, sit down. Yeah. But it's fast. So we have lots of tons of orders, so you have to get. The, the speed, right? Okay, I so see. So after a while, you get used to wrapping and making it perfect as possible without making any mistakes. And I'm watching them and I'm just thinking, wow, they are so good. Yeah, so yeah. fast. This is one of the top lines here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this food looks amazing. Let's go take a look and see what you've made already. For sure, let's uh, check it out. Okay. this off now, right? <laughs> so. Thank you so much, Michelle. You're very welcome. so much food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's do a quick recap on all of the foods okay. again. So like we talked here, lentil soup. Lentil soup. To start. Falafel patties or falafel balls to start as well with the tahini sauce. We got here the Arabian or the Arabic chicken shawarma traditional style, cut in pieces. And then we have the doner wrap, which is very popular. We have lots of sauces available. We have the garlic sauce. Yes, we do have the doner sauce, which is not everybody does it. It's a sweet taste sauce. Okay. And then this is one of our newer items here we call it sujuk. It's very. Um, How neat. do you pronounce it again? Sujuk. 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 Yeah. sujuk. yeah, this sujuk. is a, this is a Syrian style respectively that way. Like I said, the word sojuk can, can be referred to uh, as small sausages in Lebanon or uh, elsewhere. But in this case here, especially Damascus or southern part, they do sojuk this way. And like I said, the unique flavor into it is something different. You, you, you must try that. You must try I must that. try it. Okay, you know what? I'll try it right now. Just have a bite here and tell me what you think. Okay. Tomato, ground beef with... Tomato, Eastern ground beef. Spices. spices for sure. Um, light mayo, garlic sauce. Tomatoes and pickles. That's it, simple yes. as that. Very interesting. Very interesting, okay. Yeah. Wow. We just that is really this. good. Thank you. We just launched this last week, right? Yeah, it's mm. about uh, a week or so now we have it. And then uh, people actually see it in the new item menu and they, they tempt you to try it and they go back for it. That meat is so flavorful. I cannot uh, believe how good it is. Thanks, yeah. And there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in on Neri's Kitchen. Thank you so much, Rochelle Thank and you Adam. So Thank you so I had much so much fun us. touring your restaurant. Absolutely. You guys welcome here. For sure. We're located here at 1038 St. James Street, guys, in Winnipeg. If you're in the area or you want to come by for a different meal, please come check us out. We'll be happy to see you. And we have much many, many other options like dessert and special drinks for you to try out. Open every day, Monday to Sunday. Seven days a week. <laughs> Seven days a week. Um, we open usually 11 a.m. up to 8 p.m., but right. on a weekend, Friday, Saturday, up to 10 p.m. So please visit us, or you may also order to store dash and skip uh, the dish. For sure. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. And Get guys, ready. thank you. Don't forget to enter into our share our video contest, and don't forget to like, comment, yummy, and um, share the video. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye now. More.